Yes, this is the whitetail cartel. And this time of year, it's mid-August, I should be thinking about putting in my food plots, killing them off, getting stands adjusted, and I am. But I'm also thinking about pest. Hogs have rooted up my no-till plots to the point that I'm gonna have to go conventional tillage. We're still trapping them. But you clicked on this video for one reason, catch armadillos. Now, we did an armadillo catching video and showed you a dillo we caught. But since that time, I've kind of evolved just a little bit. There's three ways we can get rid of armadillos in our yard. One, put out a grub aside. All right, broadcast it over the entirety of your yard. Some people don't like putting out chemicals. I'm one of them. But I had to, and it did cut out on the number of dillas coming. Two, you shoot him every time you see him, but that's difficult because he's at night, all right? He's nocturnal. He comes out at 12, 2. Who's up then? Not old people. And the last way, trapping. That's what we're going to look at today. Got a little tweak for the armadillo trap that we are calling the Z-trap. Show it to you now. As they say, set on sign. Dilla digging. digging all around my shed and some in the yard. All right, what are we gonna need? We're going to need three slabs. I'm using three slabs that we had as leftover from the sawmill and you're gonna need two have a heart traps. If you don't have slabs, use a one by eight, probably be better use a two by eight uh, you want at least eight inches. Two by eight, one by eight. These are about eight to ten feet long. Fix show you what we're going to do with them. Okay, if you know which way the armadillo is coming, you can open, put two runners, and a have a heart, and catch him. But if you don't know which direction he's traveling, use three runners. Stick a trap at the end. You're using one runner, so we got our two that will funnel him into this trap. And then we got two coming the other direction to funnel him into that trap. Now I'm fixing to make a few tweaks because that's not quite exactly like we need it. All right. Okay, now I got it. Put a little bit of wood to block him so he's only got one way in. If he's coming from this way, he's in the trap. Coming from the other way, He's in that trap. Make sure your pan's up. Make sure your safety catch is off. Yeah, I've done that one before. Left the safety catch on. Embarrassing, but it happens. Uh, and we've got our safety catch and hook on this one ready to go. Pan is up. If you're having Dilla trouble, try the Z-trap. Uh, I've caught a lot of armadillos like this. Try the Z-trap. All right. If there's only one problem, the one problem is this. If it is a huge armadillo, armazilla, if you will, he can break out of the trap. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. If it's a big grown male armadillo, he can break your trap unless you got the expensive kind. I got the cheap tractor supply kind. I'm that kind of guy. All right. Until next time, when we will be planting food plots, getting ready for deer season. Look at that. Hey, Buster's always helpful. Hope this little armadillo tip helps you, the Z-trap, and maybe we'll have an armadillo in here in the morning. Armadillo by morning. Song's kind of catchy. All right, hit that notification button. Hit the subscribe button. Click it. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank the good Lord every day that he's blessed us to live in the country we live in. And there's so much to be thankful for. Armadillos, maybe not, but I'm sure the good Lord's got a reason for them somewhere. I just don't want them in my yard. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time on the Whitetail Cartel. If you're lucky or unlucky.
Maybe you catch a German shorthair.